Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Colton, and today I wanna to talk about my experience photographing Fight Opera. So Fight Opera is a local wrestling show here in Austin, Texas, and I wanna talk about the camera that I choose to use for this kind of shoot, as well as my experience photographing wrestling, and then I also, of course, wanna share some images from the show. So without further ado, let's talk about Fight Opera. About five minutes or so from start time, and uh, everything's set in camera as best we can leading into it, and then we'll, uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Fight Opera presents Boom Coming. So photographing live wrestling is really the same in terms of the kind of gear that you might use as photographing most other live performances, at least in my experience. So I always go with the Sony A7 Mark III and the Sony 24-70 f2.8 because these kind of pair really nicely together when you need a camera that can shoot really fast action, but also perform really well in low light situations. So when you're photographing wrestling even more than other live performances, you really kind of need to go with a faster shutter speed so that you can freeze that action. But at the same time, the lighting condition isn't the best. It's not the brightest lights you've ever seen. So you need to go with a higher ISO to facilitate that faster shutter speed. And I always find that the Sony A7 Mark III performs really, really well in low light. I can push that ISO up pretty high and feel very confident that I'll get clean images afterwards. And that allows me to use the faster shutter speed so that I can freeze that action. And also to that benefit, shooting at f2.8 across the zoom range is also really nice because it'll let more light in so that I don't have to go as high as I might using a different uh, type of lens in terms of ISO. But also another benefit to the Sony a7 is that it has pretty fast focusing. So the fact that I'm using a 2.8 uh, as far as the aperture means that my focusing zone is gonna be a lot smaller. So I can't really afford to miss focus. So I need a camera that can quickly focus on the subject especially considering that these subjects are moving all over the ring really, really fast. I need to be able to lock quick and fire that shot. And I've always found that the Sony a7 Mark III really fast autofocus and really accurate autofocus. So that's always a benefit as well. Quick jump, oh! Watching oh. power bomb and reversal! Oh my God. Doc Master it's a Master hurricane runner from Nosferatu Chains! And Doc Master is beside himself and beside the ring. That was insane. Oh! oh God, a splash oh outside God, from Nosferatu chains. Right on top of Doc Master. And then, of course, because a live wrestling show could easily be four hours, if not maybe even longer, you really want something that's going to have a battery that can keep up, especially because for wrestling, you may be using burst mode on certain performances where you know people are going to be moving really quickly or doing a throw or whatever, then you wanna be able to capture that perfect moment. So this camera does really well. In each performance that I've shot, this is the third time I've shot for Fight Opera, I've never gone through an entire battery for that one you know, four hour performance. So the battery performance is really, really good on this camera. And another benefit is it's not very expensive. Uh, this camera is like five years old now. I bought it. I probably paid two thousand when it came out way back in the day. But now, if I needed to pick up another one, I could probably find one used for like a thousand bucks, and that's not too bad a price for what you're getting. Certainly, for me, I find that it does everything I need, meets all of my needs, um, and so it's just a really solid camera. And that particular lens is a little bit more expensive 
but it makes such sharp images. Even though it's a zoom lens, sometimes those shots look like a prime lens. So I'm probably exaggerating and being ridiculous, but I really, really like this lens. The performance is phenomenal, and I think it pairs really nicely with the A7 Mark III. Dr. Chalmers no! here for him. She has to be clean no! for the last time. No! Oh. Shameful! Gary fighting back! Oh. Is the horn, the horn, folks, the horn is still attached. Gary fighting back! The main thing that I uh, took away from that first round is Keep an eye on feet as the refs slide in. There's a couple close calls, and also in a show like this, there's gonna be a lot of um, potential special effects getting spewed out of mouths, uh, like fake blood and things like that. So you gotta you know, keep your eye on that, but keep your eye on the, uh, the feet as well. Now, camera aside, the experience shooting live performance is always really enjoyable. I oftentimes have to battle not getting too caught up in the performance and just watching it, but actually remembering to photograph it. And wrestling is even more the case. Fight Opera is much more of an Austin type show, so it's very uh, comedic, it's very funny, very absurd plot points, very absurd characters. And so it can be pretty easy to get sort of caught up in the moment and just be enjoying the show. But I always really like this performance type uh, because I'm a ringside photographer. And so this means that I'm not just sitting in a chair photographing from the same spot the whole show. Rather, I'm moving around the ring, I'm sticking the camera as close into the ring as I can, getting shots. Um, but that also means I have to be very situationally aware because not only am I photographing, but there's always at least one other photographer and at least two videographers also working around that same space on the ring. So you have to be aware that when you're moving around, you're not crashing into someone else and you're not ruining someone else's shot, especially because they live stream this. So you don't want to be getting in the way of the live streaming camera. But also even more importantly, the performers in relation to you. When you're sticking your camera into the ring and photographing, you have to be at any point ready to pull that camera right back out because the performers are throwing each other around, they're running around, and then also the you know referees are sliding in when they do you know the count. And so you will run into situations where you have some close calls where you're pulling that camera out just in the nick of time before someone's shoe comes right to where your camera just was. So that's always fun for me is like enjoying the show, photographing the performers, but also being aware of where all the performers are, where all the other you know camera operators are. And it's just like ADHD on overload. You're just firing on all pistons when you shoot that kind of show and that's really enjoyable. Now, another thing that you always wanna be aware of, especially on a show like this, is any kind of liquid effects or special effects that might happen. This show in particular had like three or four different instances where liquid got used as a prop to be poured onto someone or thrown at someone, and so you wanna be careful. Even if you have some kind of bag or waterproof uh, cover over your camera, you still don't want to get drenched and be photographing a show cold and wet. So you got to be able to identify where that stuff is going to happen, get yourself in the right position to photograph it, but not be a victim of the splash zone. It's not happy. Cry baby, you know you. Cry no. baby. Don't fight, don't fight. They didn't mean it, they didn't mean it, cry baby. No. Cry oh, baby, no. they didn't mean it. Oh no, folks, yeah. It was an accident. Please. You to see this, folks. You hate to see this. Sweet tough begging. Oh, oh no! It's blood. It's pig's it's blood. blood, folks. Oh, oh, that's disgusting. I hope this doesn't unlock any powers. So I've always really loved shooting this show. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about it and seeing some of the images from this most recent performance. And of course. If you have any tips or tricks for shooting something like this, maybe you've shot ringside before or you've shot a similar live performance, 
drop those in the comments below. And I would also love to hear which of the images I shared was your favorite. So if you found one really interesting or really enjoyable to look at, let me know in the comments below as well. If you enjoyed the video itself, do give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more content like this, I do post often, so hit the subscribe button. That'll keep you in the know for when the next video drops. But for now, I'm Colton, and I'll see you in the next one.